under the optimization we are going to explain that what are the properties of output supply function as we have already explained that a firm is ready to supply any output in the market depending upon the output price and the input prices and graphically we have explained that this will be the point of the intersection of the average mar average variable cost and the marginal cost curve that will decide that now how much a firm will produce and from that point the firm will start its supply so when we have to check a firm's optimal quantity that a firm is going to produce we can see that the firm is going to produce that amount of output that is going to sufficiently equate with its budget available to that here this rk it shows that this is the amount of those capital that has been utilized in the form of the fixed capital or we can say that it is the sunk cost that has already been utilized for the installation of a plant or for the purchase of a land and like this or the machinery so this cost is there and this k bar and this this shows now the variable cost so keeping in view these two conditions we can say a firm is going to maximize its profit and for this maximization of the profit this is the maximization of revenue minus this is the cost and this equation it has to follow two properties of the output supply function must and these two properties are that that the output supply function it will be homogeneous of degree 0 and at the same time it will be non negative in slope now we will explain these two properties first property that the homogeneous of degree 0 it means whatever will be the output supply function y it will be depending upon this the input prices and the output prices and if there is any type of the increase or the change in the prices by any factor t or by any factor c we can have an expression this that by any this factor we can multiply all the prices and by multiplying all these prices we will be having an effect that will be in total will be zero on the output it means the inflation it will be a neutral effect on the uh, if uh, on the output supply if this is going to affect all the price level of either input or the output in the same manner if this incremental change in the prices is different then we can expect something different and this second property it is that the supply function it must have a non negative slope it means whatever will be the change in the output with reference to the output price there will be at least a positive change in the output with reference to output price now when we explain this that we can see that this supply function is always the derivative of the profit function and this function is already homogeneous of degree 0 in all the prices mean if we double all the output and the input prices then there will be no change in the firm supply behavior and that will be a pure inflation or we can say a neutral effect on all the type whenever there will be or we can say this is called money neutral that whatever will be the change in all the price level of inputs and output if of the same level there will be no change in the output and for the second if we can explain with reference to the our previous that if we plot the profit of that firm on the y axis and the output price on x axis 
we see that there is always like this a positive sloped curve and this is mostly called the actual but the firms they are not working on mostly that actual profit function rather they just work by their guess and something else and we can say that there may be a certain pseudo profit line and this pseudo profit line is like that that the actual price line it above than this tangency point and this actual line above than this pseudo line it shows that there is always a positive behavior and there is always a convex attitude so it shows that the supply curve will be positively slow 